Hi, I'm Beth Moore. I think the number one most significant improvement you can make to a horse is to grow a gorgeous mane and tail on him or her. If the horse has any flaws, the beautiful mane and tail take the attention off anything on the horse that isn't perfect. It makes the whole horse look absolutely stunning. This is the kind of horse I always wanted. A reigning horse looks so much more dramatic when its long mane and tail are flying as the horse makes its spins. This makes the crowd go crazy. Without the long mane and tail, the spin is nowhere near as flashy and attention getting. And don't you love how classy and graceful an Arabian looks when their elegance is shown off by a long thick mane and gorgeous tail? When a gated horse has a beautiful mane and tail, it looks like it's keeping time with their steps, so each stride looks so much more exaggerated and flashy. And I'm so glad all the natural horsemen followers like myself admire a natural long mane and tail. As a child, I heard the fairy tales that always talk about a majestic steed with the mane and tail flying in the wind as the hero gallops in to save the day. So ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted a beautiful horse like that, but I couldn't figure out how to grow a long, luxurious mane and tail for a really long time. Once I discovered how easy and fast it is to grow the mane and tail I always wanted, I found out a lot more that I didn't expect or realize. I learned that when you have a gorgeous horse, it affects many areas of your life. It really changes the way people react to you and your horse everywhere you go. The first and most obvious change is that you and your horse both get noticed a lot. You suddenly get tons of attention. Everyone wants to talk to you about your stunning horse. They compliment, they ooh and ah, they pet and praise your horse. They ask if they can take a picture. They want to know everything about your horse. The horse owners want to know how on earth you got the mane and tail so long and thick. When you tell them how fast and easy it is, they all want to know your secret. This has the side effect of you meeting lots of new people. I'm an open and friendly person, but I'm a little on the shy side when it comes to approaching strangers. I'm not usually one of those people who will just walk up to someone I don't know and start talking. But as soon as I show up with one of my horses, everyone comes up to me and starts talking. I can't tell you how many new friends I've made because of this. It's really fun when everyone loves your horse. It feels like everyone loves your horse as much as you do. It really creates a bond with the people you meet because you instantly have something in common. My best friend even met her husband this way. He came up to her and started telling her how beautiful her horse is and now they're engaged. It's a real icebreaker and a great conversation starter. This next benefit is one that I suspected for a long time, but I couldn't really prove it until I made my horses really stand out. I had horses I was showing that I knew were better than some of the flashier horses that were getting better ribbons than me in the shows. I knew it's because the plain Jane horse doesn't catch the judge's eye or even get a second look from anyone. It isn't fair, but think about it. We're always drawn to what's pleasing to the eye, so we give it more of our attention. Once my horses became the most stunning in the show ring, the tables were turned. I started winning way more ribbons with the same horses. I hate to admit it, but now I think that sometimes my horses win over horses that are better than they are, just because they stand out. I feel bad. <laughs> well, just a little. All this attention leads to another surprise, free publicity. I've been on charity trail rides, at training seminars, fairs, and exhibitions, where the press has been there from newspapers, different magazines, and TV stations. Now, who do you think the professionals want to get a picture of or put on TV? Think about it. They want the horse that everyone's making a big fuss over. They always go right to me and my horse. 
This has given me free publicity for my barn, which helped to fill it up with borders. I've also gotten loads of free publicity for my training services, and even for selling horses and getting bookings for my breeding stallion. And the photographers will send me the pictures they take just for asking for them. Then I use those professional pictures in my paid advertising. This makes me look way more professional than if I had just taken pictures myself. People always contact me when they see my horses in a newspaper or magazine or on TV. Once, when a picture was taken of one of the horses during summer camp, the rest of the summer camp filled up immediately when the picture appeared in the newspaper. I can't tell you how this has helped my business, all for free. Another benefit I've seen is that I can save a lot of money buying a plain looking horse. You can get great horses right now for next to nothing. Some of these are really awesome horses that just need a little help in the grooming department. Then I turn these low priced horses into stunning beauties. If you're looking for your first horse and need to keep the price low, I'd look for a good horse that's on the plain side because you know you can make it gorgeous in no time. The next benefit is obvious, but I'll say it anyway. When you make any horse more beautiful, you increase its value. A beautiful horse is always going to sell for more money and faster than a horse of the same quality that doesn't have the outstanding looks. The easiest way to make a horse more valuable is to grow a great mane and tail on it. People will scramble to pay top dollar for a horse their friends will envy. Since making a horse beautiful increases its value, I've used that to make extra money from my horse habit. I've bought lots of plain Jane horses and made them gorgeous in no time, and then sold them for four to five times what I paid for them. Talk about a fun way to support your horse habit. I can add three to four inches of length per month, so in just three or four months, you can add a foot of growth on any breed. This makes a drastic difference in the way the horse looks in a really short time. The last benefit is the pride I feel in my horses. I just can't explain how I feel when I look at my 16-year-old gelding. I've had him about 10 years, and he's been blind about four years now. He's my pride and joy because he's so beautiful. I could spend hours just primping and pampering him. His forelock goes down past his nose and covers his eyes, so people don't even realize he's blind. He's so gentle and sweet that people are always shocked when I brush his forelock away from his eyes and they realize he can't see a thing. They can't believe he's so calm for being completely blind. A magazine that published one of my articles put a picture of him on their cover. I want to show you the magazine and I'm also going to send you my free video teaching you how to grow a long thick mane and tail on any horse super fast. Just type your email address in the box on the right and I'll send the video to your email box in just a second.